Hey, KIC here. I am still wandering around in the hub city. Welcome back to Seven Days to Die Alpha 12. Look at that. There's an engine in that car. That actually makes a lot of sense. Although a small engine, I don't know about that, but you know, whatever. We'll, we'll not worry about that for right now. I'm going to check this building out because this one looks promising to me. This should be the information center, police station, however you would like to phrase it. So there should be some good stuff in this building, and there's some aviator goggles right there. Let's go ahead and make some room for those. I'm going to put plant fibers in there for now, and we're going to throw those on. These are a new addition to Alpha 12. They do provide a small amount of protection for one's eyes. It's kind of cool. I'm going to go ahead and let this axe die, because I found a slightly better one in the last episode when I was checking, oh, what was it, a car outside of the Born and Noble? I then went into the Born and Noble and found various books and schematics, and here we are now. So first episode, obviously, I found myself... Oh, that's right, it's locked. I still don't know what to do with those. Found myself in the Hub City. Hmm, brown skull cap, huh? I'm good with whatever one I have on right now that I found somewhere. I really like these tables that they added to the game. They just... They help spice things up a little bit. They look nice. They really do. Oh, look at that. Bunch of TVs in here. One change that I'm still trying to get used to is this one right here. Got really used to it in Alpha 11 where you could just chop away one block and let yourself in. Let's try it right now. Nope. I cannot get in. That is really weird. That's going to take me some time to get used to. Do I have any extra rocks on me? Good, because I'm going to need to repair my axe in a minute. I am going through rocks like it's going out of style, which is kind of unfortunate because I'm actually having more trouble than usual finding them. I haven't played with my settings yet. In the last episode, I mentioned I might need to play with my gamma, etc., because it seems like I'm having trouble actually seeing things. I don't know, maybe that's just because the other game I play regularly looks different. I don't know, but this does feel darker. Then again, it is pretty cloudy out here, and I know some variant of dynamic weather was added to this version of the game, so it does make sense, at least on some level, that I wouldn't necessarily be seeing things in the exact same way I had before. We're going to put you in there. And let me get you back out. Someone is banging on something. I don't know what. That, that, no. Somewhere out there, someone is banging on something. Is this door? It's not unlocked. So if I want to get in and get to that corpse, that's going to be a little time to do that. So I'm going to pass on that for right now. That's not really super important to me. Getting in here is, though. This is going to take a while, I fear. Let's go ahead and repair this axe. It's getting low enough now that I feel like I should probably take care of it. Seems likely that what I'm going to find in here is not going to be of use to me right now. Part of the problem with that is, one, if it's... Oops. If it's a piece, that's not going to do me any good because I don't have anything to make these military weapons. And if it's not, well, I guess that'd be great if it's a full weapon, but I'm not really expecting that right now. But either way, it's going to be kind of low level, whatever it is. So that's kind of a shame. Wow. Here, let's go ahead and drink some water here. I'm just looking at my frames right now. I have no idea why things are running so poorly. That's interesting. I used to seeing it go that poorly in the city, but I don't know. Something changed. I definitely don't have the exact same settings as before because there are about 35 billion additional settings that you can pick from. Okay, that might be a slight exaggeration, but there really are a lot of new settings. It's kind of it's kind of overwhelming, honestly. That was a big guy exploding down there, a cop, officer, law enforcement, sir. Check this box. That reflection looks kind of hideous. Not a big fan of how that looks. Bunch of ammo. Guess I'll go ahead and take that. I mean, I'm already carrying some 7mm, so why not? Oh. suppose I should check this out. 
really not used to this whole have to get rid of everything thing. That's just... That's going to drive me bonkers until I get myself a good quality axe. I don't think there's any two ways around that. The way Mad Mole talks about it, Mad Mole being one of the developers, the game runs a lot slower now in terms of progression, so... Might be a while before I see myself using a good axe. I don't know. I guess we'll we'll have to wait and see. I'm going to go in the back way to get into the room with the lockers and the gun safe, so... At least this will save me a little bit of trouble. Sometimes I just decide the heck with it and go in through the wall. Of course, that's when I have a high-quality pickaxe, and... I'm happen to be on that side of... the room, but... I don't have one of those right now, and I'm not around there. Steel arrow, I could, I... Hmm, dang, I actually would like to take that stuff, but... I'm gonna have to leave that for now. Let's go ahead and check the cooler first. Guess I'll take you, I'm not terribly excited by that. Some blue denim pants, those are not better than the ones I have. That does look better than the one I have, I believe. Let's go ahead and swap that out. Maybe it's not. 149. Actually, I do think it was better. It was better by dumb luck. Gotta love it. Here, we'll put you back in there. I'm gonna leave those casings in there. I don't think I need them. Football helmet, you say? That is pretty decent protection. Let's go ahead and throw that on. Why not? Can it be repaired? It sure can. Want to say back in the days of Alpha 11, you couldn't repair those guys, so that's a nice change. I'm going to do this loud. No, I'm not. That's right. These things are locked. I still don't know what to do with a locked safe. So, unfortunately, I shall leave it. There is another corpse over here, though, so let's go check out the corpse. Hello, corpsey, my friend. You look terrible. You shouldn't be reflecting anything, actually. That's a slight problem. Back here, can I take a look at what settings I have going on and see if there's... I don't know why you're doing that. Hmm. I I have no idea which of these is doing that. Because I don't even have everything turned on. Hmm. Well, let's ignore that for now. That's a little freaky looking, though. I am glad to find some more arrows. That's kind of helpful, though. Well, slightly more helpful. I don't know. We'll see how that goes anyway. Let's run downstairs to the kitchen. Oftentimes, I'll ignore the kitchen. But at this stage of the game, it's definitely worth checking out. No one has come in just yet. That's good. You know what? Now, let's go ahead and check out this room, too. There will be a desk in here, and I think there's a filing cabinet and maybe even a small bookcase. I'm not 100% sure about that, though. But a desk and a filing cabinet could be helpful, because, you know, I could use some loot in there. Potentially. Desks are good, sometimes have guns in them, ammunition, that sort of stuff. Maybe even some schematics at this point in the game, who knows? Aha, I was right about the bookcase, except it's empty. Okay, don't let... dang it. It's up to you, desk. Hmm, cowboy hat. Yeah, don't really want a cowboy hat. I have a football helmet. Not even a fan of football, and I'm going to stick with the helmet, because... Right now, protection wins. Okay, last order of business for this building is to let myself in to the kitchen. There'll be some more lockers in here, so that'll be helpful, potentially. Lots of cabinets to check out, too. Just gotta chop, chop, chop away at everything here. I think I'm carrying around a fair amount of wood debris. At some point, I'll need to turn that into planks, but I, I don't know that I actually have... The inventory space to do that right now. I suppose I could turn every wood debris piece I have into planks and that might do the trick, but oh look at that. I didn't check you. That means there's one over here too. Let's check you. Ah, uh, sure, we'll take it. How about you? Eh, uh, fine. Not excited about those because I don't really need them. You typically find enough to drink and it's just, I don't know. I don't go crazy with empty jars. They they don't do a whole lot for me. I mean, I don't have anything against them per se, but yeah, they don't do a whole lot for me. 
suppose I could always go back to the Born and Noble and grab those coffee beans and make some coffee, but eh, you know. More trouble than it's worth right now. Oh, I'm so tempted to go in there, but I don't want to do it. Oops. That was a little loud. I didn't mean to do that loud. Let's do that quietly. I'll go ahead and take that. I don't have room for that, so let's instead pick you up and put you on. Ah, that's right. I forgot. You can do this now. Let's wear that. I forgot all about the right-click menu until just that moment when I dropped that bandana. Like, oh yeah, you can just right-click it now. So much easier. Well, in certain instances. I don't know. I find I'm generally not a big fan of right-click menus, but I don't know. We'll see. I haven't really given this one much of a chance, so it might be okay. I don't know. Put you back in there. I'm kind of weird. Sometimes I put loot back in and sometimes I don't. Since it'll be 30 days before I'm able to come out here and loot again, eh, you know, whatever. I don't typically re-loot anyway, so really it's not a big loss for me if I put stuff back into a container and thus make it so said container cannot respawn. Not a huge problem. Let's go ahead and let myself out here. Oh. Figures there'd be a dog over here. I was just thinking I should probably get myself ready to drink some beer and run. Because it is 7 o'clock. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And I'll I'll end up finding somewhere to hang out for the night. Can I check you? I'm about to be bitten. Watch. Good. Got a couple pipes out of that. That's exactly what I wanted. Have I checked this car yet? I have not. Radiator. Don't want no radiator. I am going to come back for this engine, though. You remember that? There we go. Let's go ahead and run along. Apparently the dog missed me. I don't know how that happened. I'm not going to complain about it, though. Just kind of taking a quick run through the city while it's still light out. Light-ish. Out. Zombies should be running in about 30 minutes from now. That would be the default settings. 18 hours of daylight. Okay. Run by, run by Big Sur over here. Looks like it's mostly destroyed buildings on... This particular area here. No one knows where I'm at right now. That's a good thing. Let's go into crouch mode so I can tell right away and so do cheat. Small engine, 98, 82. You're better, I'll take you. I will take an iron pickaxe. Even if that means I have to drop some wood debris. That's actually a really great find right there. I know the quality of it is pretty crummy looking, but... That's potentially going to be super helpful, so... Wow, this is a tiny, tiny hub city, and those are a couple of dogs over there that I don't feel like irritating right now, because I've already done enough of that. Pump shotgun stock, hunting rifle parts. Are you better than the ones I have? Nope. I wouldn't mind having a pump shotgun stock, though. I can always collect more plant fibers later on. Can't even make a pump shotgun, so I don't know why I would collect that, but I'm going to, and you can't stop me. I'm going to call it an episode right here, because it's getting to be about dark. I know, it's not quite dark yet. It's close. And not to say I have to stop what I'm doing. I don't. But I'm going to run through the night a little bit and try and find somewhere else to go, because, well, I don't think I'm ready for the rest of the hub city right now, and frankly, it looks pretty small and disappointing, so... I'm hopeful that I won't have the same problems I had in Alpha 11 with finding additional wastelands. I never I never found another wasteland except for the hub in Alpha 11. I don't know, I didn't have that problem in Alpha 10. I found lots of wastelands in random gen, but not a single one in Alpha 11 except for the one that is automatically programmed into the game. So I will catch you on the next episode. Apparently I'm going to be heading east. I don't know what is east, but we're going to find out what's east or at least find out on that next episode. So I'll catch you then. Thanks for watching. See you later.